This is Openly Hostile Opinions with your hosts, Casey and Jay. What the hell? Why? I can do anything I want to, but I don't want to. This episode of Openly Hostile Opinions has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access provides state-of-the-art multi-layered security with advanced privacy protection using VPN tunneling. When you use Private Internet Access, not even your ISP can tell what you're doing online. Prevent throttling and other people from eavesdropping on what you do. If you want to help out Openly Hostile Opinions and get yourself this wonderful VPN package, go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Again, that is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Sign up for private internet access today. What's up, bitches and snitches? Up, Look who's back! <laughs> uh, <laughs> snitches get stitches. What's up? See, look who's back! Our 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 bald friend Greg, he's here. Yeah, he didn't die of a drug overdose or anything. He's okay. He's he's finally returned. I, I definitely tried. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How you doing? You people already fucking like bitching at each other in the fucking comments. Settle, settle <laughs> hell down. We didn't even start yet. Good lord! That's the way it works. People are nuts. People are fucking crazy. <laughs> wow, you guys are starting off rough. <laughs> well, hey, so welcome back to the 8 o'clock time slot. I'm, I'm yes. done doing that weird-ass uh, weird ass schedule I was doing. In fact, though, uh, it, as it turns out, uh, tech support was apparently not for me. So I'm going, Tech support fucking sucks. Going, I hate the shit. Yeah, I'm going back to building vacuums with this motherfucker over here again, so... Oh, God. <laughs> you two working together. Jesus. It wouldn't Christ. be the first time. Probably won't be the last. What hours did you get? I'm working I'm working a graveyard. Oh, yeah. Which actually works out really well for me because I'm going to go home after work while the kids are in school, get my sleep on, and then I have the whole evening to spend with the family every night. Mm -hmm. And I get weekends to spend with them. It's actually really great. Oh, so you get weekends off. Yeah, it, it's really great. It's a lot nicer. I don't know what nicer. that is. <laughs> I work you don't even work. I don't. What are you talking what about? What the fuck are you talking <laughs> what about? What do you do? <laughs> I work in a fucking restaurant. Oh, that's right. why I never get fucking weekends off. Yeah, you know. Like, it. This is finally a, like I don't love working third shift. I don't like working a graveyard, but uh, you know, because it always sucks trying to sleep when people are, like mowing the lawn and shit like that. Yeah, it does. You I, know how that. I is. hate the. I that's hate what I, I hate your plugs are for. Yeah, I hate working the graveyard. No, you know actually, what? I like it because you can't get him pregnant. You know what? I can't. <laughs> right. uh, here, can't press press what are you doing? <laughs> Give me my cord here. No. I yank it on it. There we go. Um, yeah, so I, I can't sleep with earplugs. Can you? I, I just can't do it. I don't need to because it's quiet in my house. There's nobody there. <laughs> well, that's pretty good for me, too. I'm going to have a similar situation. Everybody's going to be out to school and work and whatnot. So I'm it, fucking used to it. Whatever. <laughs> I can sleep. I, I was in state prison for two years, so I could just sleep anywhere. Yeah, really? I wouldn't that's even fucking... think about that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I, d I never make it in prison, and it's not because I'm so pretty or because <laughs> I have such big boobs, <laughs> because I have such big bitch tits. I know, Jay. I, I feel like you're someone that's good for prison just to cuddle with because you have man boobs. <laughs> I'm, a big, I'm, a, I'm a big teddy bear. Yeah, so just close your eyes when you spoon in you and just grab those titties and just pretend <laughs> they're a female. <laughs> Uh, I'd be able Jay to. I'd be able fun. to sell myself for soups. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I've become a. I, I, I like butts. I love butts on women. Butts on women. But now that you know the girl that I'm seeing has huge titties, I like titties <laughs> a little so, bit more uh, than I used to. <laughs> so, so you like big butts, and you cannot lie. Yeah, exactly. I've always been a butt man. There's just I love grabbing them. I love smacking them. I love putting it in them. I'm a fan. And now that I'm dating someone with big titties, I'm like, ah, titties aren't so bad. You know what? I'm lucky. You know, my wife has big titties and a big butt. I like girls with free drugs. <laughs> you like drugs? That's weird. I never, <laughs> never put that together. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's been an interesting week. So you guys watching the Olympics at all? Nope. No. 
No. I haven't watched it since Dom- Dominique Macchiato. Do you remember that bitch? No. Oh, man, she was so hot back in the day. And I just, uh many, many, many wet dreams over that girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I w- I've been watching it a little bit. My wife love- loves watching sports, so, you know. No, I haven't watched any of it. Uh, Jason and Ashley were watching it, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. Well, there was this one event that I had never heard of because I've never really sat and watched the Winter Olympics a whole lot, unless it was like hockey because I love hockey. But uh, it, it is the weirdest fucking thing I've ever seen. It's it's a combination of um, what what the hell do you call it? Not not downhill skiing. The other cross country, cross country skiing and shooting a rifle. Yeah, I know. Because what the fuck would those two go together for? I know. And, like, did you see the new one? They're, like, putting high schools in the middle of things. So you have to stop in there real quick. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. But I... <laughs> It was a joke. Get it? Shooting, school shooting. <laughs> Come on! Uh, you know <laughs> no, what? I'm reading this. What? What is that? Oh, this is this is our notes from last week. Eagles fan eating shit. Yeah, there was an Eagles fan last week that ate shit. I think I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. and then he complained that his scarf got into it. Not that you're eating shit, but, yeah. And then a Girl Scout got in trouble for selling cookies in front of a pot shop. Well, which I think is you know that, what America's all about. That woman's go. That girl's going somewhere. Yeah, exactly. And then there was a false tsunami warning because you know the missile one in. Yeah, see, Hawaii we actually didn't they enough. say it was like from fucking all the way from it, New York to fucking it Florida. It was from Maine to Florida. That's a, a big fucking tsunami. Yeah, I know. That's why I was like, Jesus Christ, one of my ex-girlfriends jumped in the ocean. See, and you say that uh, we don't do any show prep. I mean, we don't very often. There's nothing on there for this week, though. <laughs> oh, no, I, I got it on my phone now. I'm getting, oh, sort, of, I'm right. getting sort of better with stuff. Oh, so, it. like, I, I have stuff. Because I'll see shit that I want to talk about, and then I never fucking get a chance to do it. Mm-hmm. Because you're busy rating. Yeah, because I'm busy rating, exactly. Right. Well, you know what I do is I use an app called Pocket. And I just save shit to my pocket. I got one I don't do in shit. my pocket. <laughs> You're here to look pretty and sleep. make Tuffy all happy. Yeah, exactly. I bet you. I bet you Trevor's all fucking happy and shit like that. Oh, look, it's Casey's girlfriend. She's yes, not it my is. Girlfriend. Mega stated. I'm surprised she's actually in uh, here. You, we're at just girl right now, right? She's a girl I put my penis in, right? That she lets me. A- for and some I reason. occasionally have feelings for. Exactly. Okay. You do, motherfucker. No joke. <laughs> oh, not <laughs> me. <laughs> Jackass. Uh, uh, that reminds me, though, so I, I do want to bring something up. So, basically, if you think about it, Best Buy is, like, the only place, really, mainstream, if you want to call it, that really sells CDs anymore. What's a CD? I don't know. Compact, Walmart. Compact Ding Dong. Walmart doesn't sell CDs anymore. Yeah, I don't, they do. Really do. I, I don't see them anywhere. They're in really? the not not electronic section. Oh, really? Well, Best Buy is done Target. selling CDs. They are going to stop this summer. Um... Uh, so if you want CDs, go to Best Buy and buy a bunch of them. Um, I remember my first CD. It was Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> Correct review. Yeah. And then my second CD was their second album. And then I bought the black album. And then my life went down the hill from there. <laughs> my, my first two CDs are the most most uh, polar opposites you could imagine. I see. No. <laughs> no, my first two CDs were White Zombie, Les Exorcisto. And Michael Jackson, bad. Oh, I went to a record store today, and they had that on vinyl. If Wait. I if I had a record player, I would have bought it. Which one? Ah, uh, bad. Michael Jackson's bad. Oh yeah. Um, if you're looking for metal shit though, that Gimme Radio dot com that I listen to a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have a vinyl store. That's like they don't do advertisements or anything. That's how they support themselves. Is yeah. that vinyl store? They have lots of good shit. Um, the new Agent Orange uh, is coming out. On the vinyl. one. Um. The record store in Mentorsville right now mm-hmm. posted all over Facebook. They have this Megadeth album that's really rare on vinyl or something like that. And they only had like 20 copies of it. And Jason like texted Ashley was like, I'm fucking dead serious. Get down there now and get the goddamn things. Which so, album? Um, It's red and it has a skeleton on it. <laughs> that's all I remember. Oh, Peace Cells. <laughs> Is that what it? No, Peace Cells I thought was like fucking was tan and had like cryptic writing on it or some bullshit. no that would be cryptic writing <laughs> oh really really huh an album with uh, cryptic writings on it called that that's weird <laughs> that's the only mega death album i've ever had it was the, yeah the red it. one the red one with the skeleton on it is peace sells but who's buying and that skeleton's name is vic rattlehead you goddamn godless heathen i don't like mega death <laughs> goddamn godless heathen. i don't like mega death They're pretty terrible i don't see <laughs> oh, you guys you guys are blasphemers see greg knows and you should believe, Greg. It's not like he does drugs or anything. <laughs> I've been Fucking... clean for like an hour. You really? people both like Suicide Silence. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> suicide Silence is awesome. They, <laughs> Except they're... <laughs> they, they were. Except when their singer died. Right. <laughs> that that kind of sucked. 
Nothing like a bald fuck to make things a little funnier. Exactly. That's why we have them. Thanks, thanks, Kenny. Yeah. We, we pre- appreciate well, your support. Hair. Yeah, hair. I didn't know Walmart still sold CDs. I thought yeah. same uh, Best Buy was the only thing that was you know left doing it. I'm not saying they have a lot, but yeah. the Target has them too. Yeah, that's right. But I guess if you think about it, you know, Best Buy, all their shit was unedited and stuff like that. Like, where are you gonna buy like raw unedited CDs anymore? Hell, Hot I haven't topic. bought it. Yeah, maybe. Do they still Dude, sell I don't CDs? Know. I don't. I don't go I don't to the mall I, anymore. Yeah, I you know, know, I actually applied as an assistant manager to Hot Topic. Really? It was one of the other places I could think of that I'd be able to like get a mainstream job and was actually still have my tattoos. Yeah, recently. Oh. Huh. Dude, uh, if you worked there, I'd come in every day and just bother you. I wouldn't <laughs> care. Just throw shit on the ground. Yeah. I'd be like, pick it up. I'd be like, <laughs> if I was the manager, I'd just make one of the one of the fucking <laughs> one of the edgy emo kids with the with the lip ring clean it up. Oh, it's so bad there. I went in there for Christmas and stuff like that, and all these emo kids were like coming asking me questions, and I was just like got really hot and sweaty. I'm like, they're back. Because <laughs> for a while there, they all turned into hipsters and like emo. Like, no, nah, they never went away. They it never did went for away. A they they bit. just they just hid in hot topic. Yeah, it did for a little bit, and then all of a sudden they're all fucking coming back and shit like that i don't know i think it'd be fun if you worked there i'd come in and hang out there like oh my god i'd, I'd play actually decent music yeah i i would i would hang out there like an old coffee shop or something or like <laughs> some uh, bullshit dude i'd be like rocking some of this new new but great metal like iron reagan by the way if you guys haven't listened to that check it out iron reagan iron reagan, <laughs> iron reagan they're really good the, stoner the, metal oh stoner metal okay that makes i sense. love stoner metal that makes sense with a name like that i fucking uh, doesn't surprise me agent orange has a new album coming out that's really fucking good are they coming out in cd <laughs> vinyl <laughs> actually you know they have a lot of fucking vinyl do you know what store i'm talking about it's in Matoursville. yeah yeah no. yeah like they have a dollar room too where you just walk back in the back it, and it's right some... it's right on the main drag in that uh white building it used there to is be only like an one area. street in that fucking <laughs> uh, main drag what are you talking about Broad Street, not you know. It's yeah, fu- that's the fucking. You know, it's funny. I used, street. I used to live in Montoursville, right? Montoursville, and I lived on Montour the Street in Montoursville. <laughs> yeah, they were. Unless, unless you live in Montoursville, then then it's a little bit more. I never of a had a problem. <laughs> Jay, did. fuck you. <laughs> Jay did. He had a lot of problems. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so I was saying, I lived in Montoursville, and I I lived on Montour Street in Montoursville. When I bought a guitar, I ordered it online, or ordered it from a uh, mail order catalog. That shows you how old I am. I thought you were going to say mail order bride. <laughs> yeah. No, I ordered a mail order uh, guitar years ago, and I had to call the guy to put the order in. And I was telling him my address. He's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, no, I swear to God. And, you know, believe it or not, this town has more than one street. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah it's like, like three. He's like, I thought for sure you were fucking with me. I'm like, no, that's really my address. <laughs> yeah, but if you think about it, Matoursville gets like really fucking redneck backwoods and shit once you start go like stringing out a little bit, like Rose Valley and all that shit. But like, no, that's not technically in Matoursville. Yeah, but, but yeah. like Maine, Matoursville is just one fucking street. And Mike right. Messina's from and Walmart. There. Old people. Yeah, Walmart. And old people, because I worked at a grocery store in Matoursville, and all old people. I had some bitch that was so pissed that there wasn't holes in her Swiss cheese. She walked all the way back in the rain, threw them at me, smacked me right in the face. Ugh. Swiss I cheese. Used to work at Wise, She's right? like, they taste the best. I'm like, they're yeah. holes. They don't taste like anything. <laughs> they taste like air. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it, Swiss cheese is weird, because the more you have of it, the less there is. I know. And it's just like, <laughs> and it's so expensive. Like, Swiss cheese is so expensive. It was like $8, $9 a fucking pound for that shit, and they're like... You're slitting or slicing it and shit, and they're like, make sure there's holes in it. I'm like, fuck you. Old people, that's all they have to look forward to is food, I guess. I'm looking forward to when I get old, and then I can get up at, like, 6 a.m. and drive around all slow and make everybody late for work. I know. That's why my grandmother always just wants to go out and eat, right? Yeah, that probably, makes sense. Now. Yeah, dude, that's all. They, like, I remember some guy, like me and Ashley, were going to McDonald's today, and we drove past this old dude just walking down the street. He had to bend like a hundred, and I'm just like, oh, going to do old people stuff. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Going to McDonald's <laughs> at six a.m. and drink coffee. I just, I hate that old person mentality. Like, they always think they're busy, and young kids are just horrible people because we don't, you know, take a thousand steps and only move two feet. You know what I'm talking about? Like that old person, like, oh, I'm so busy today. You know, I hate that. Do you know what I'm talking about? Nope. You guys, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Nope. How old people always act like rant. they're busy. Nope. Oh, Jesus 
Jesus Christ. Do you guys even know any old people? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Nope. I don't know, but you're sounding a bit like one over there, Grandpa. I am. Get off my lawn! I am old, goddammit. <laughs> Megan says, Casey, why do you want to hang out at a Hot Topic only 12-year-olds who sexually confuse? That's exactly why. That's where I met you, Megan. What were you talking about? Oh. <laughs> Megan, you dress in all black and have black hair. You kind of fit in there. <laughs> I know. That's why I was just, like. Just well, saying. What you talking about, Willis? Uh, Tig the Neighbor joined. What's up, Tigger? Hello, Tig. Uh, Megan, I'm surprised you're actually in here. I thought you and Chelsea were going out for some birthday drinks. My my wife was going to join us tonight, but I think she couldn't find the charger for her laptop. Uh oh. That's not yeah. good. Th you probably have it. No, I don't. <laughs> that looks like hers right there. Hers is black, not mm -hmm. white. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. we're Put pulling whoa, race into this. Whoa. Putting race into this. It's going to be about color. <laughs> <laughs> what's, wrong with the, what's wrong with the black cord? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, that reminds me. Everyone's making a big deal about Black Panther. <laughs> They're like, finally a black movie. I'm like, did you ever see Blade? <laughs> I was like, he ripped shit up in that movie. That's a good-ass movie. I love the Blade such movies. such a badass. Third one was eh, a little weird, but because uh, Triple H and Ryan Reynolds were in it for some reason. <laughs> but I, I did actually... see the trailer for the new Deadpool. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Yeah, and I guess the guy that plays Cable... Um, what else did he play? Josh Brolin. Yeah, what else did he play in that was famous? Avatar. Or not Avatar. Um, fuck. Where he, he wore a, uh, a gray sweatshirt and a red bandana well, in the movie. Well, he's Thanos, but that, that's beside the point. Who 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 was that? From what, the Avengers. Yeah, I know, but what, what, do you know what character I'm talking about? When he was younger, he played a character where he wore a gray sweatshirt and had a red bandana. And I guess uh, for a poster, uh, Ryan Reynolds had a picture of Deadpool painting him as Cable, hmm. but he was painting that guy with a red band. Oh, yeah, I see that. Like that. We choose to drink at home. Why? What's going on? You don't want to go out? Go out and mingle? Oh, no, fuck. He, he, was, in, he was in the Goonies. I didn't know he was That's in the Goonies. That's what it was. Yeah, he was painting him from the Goonies. Like, he was sitting there on a chair, like, Cable posing, so Deadpool uh, could You know what? Him. I didn't know that was him. I did know he was in Thrashing. Okay. The Road Killers, Better Roses, Flirting with Disaster, Mimic, Night Watch, The Mod Squad. Mimic. Oh, that movie was fucked uh, up. He was in Hollow Man. That was a terrible movie. I liked that movie. It was sort of like good. You would. Kevin Bacon's in it. You can't. You can never have enough bacon. He was in the. <laughs> he was in the. Pl that's right. He was in the Planet Terror uh, segment of Grindhouse. Oh, okay. The Valley Earth. No Country for Old Men. I still haven't seen that movie. You have not seen No nope. Country for Old Men. That's a great movie. It. Did you see it, Greg? What? Oh, no Country for Old Men. I just based out there. <laughs> you never seen that movie? No. <laughs> oh yeah. Why, he, why would I? I don't know. You don't watch? Oh, you just do drugs, <laughs> right? Gar yeah. He, like you get high and then watch stuff and you can't really remember, so there's no point. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't blame me. I just fall asleep <laughs> and then wake up next to a kid I stole from a daycare and the police are after me and I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jay's like, why do I come here? <laughs> I I wonder. I really do. Po's not gonna let me come here anymore. <laughs> My wife is I, finally, I finally here. Welcome, welcome, lovely wife. She's not drunk today. <laughs> I'm sure she'll. I'm sure she'll have a couple yeah. of drinks. This is her fun time. Yeah, she okay. watches our show. Did and... you watch last week at all, Greg? Yeah, I was in the chat. Oh, you were. You Dumbass. don't fucking remember? Were you at work? Why you were in the chat? No, no, he just has to leave. He he wouldn't have time I wouldn't to come have, out I, here. Yeah, I wouldn't make it to oh. work in time. Okay. Yeah. I had what to go in early start? and set up for these assholes to do. It. I gotta go in at ten thirty. Uh, uh, Casey, we need to talk about that statement. What statement? About the daycare. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that good role play though? <laughs> I thought you liked that stuff, Megan. Hey, hot three shit. shots what? in already. Jesus oh, your chat's Christ. a lot slower than mine. Send her over my way. We'll get her drunk. Oh, I believe you will. You guys are bad influences. Yeah, uh, Megan hung out with Jay's wife Friday night, and uh, they're very, very. Uh, Amanda's like they're really bad influences. It's like, yeah, I fucking told you. <laughs> <laughs> Me but Megan and Chelsea are lushes. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, what? They're lushes. They're like sirens. Like but, but, they, oh. they bring you in with like sex and drugs, and then they just bite your head off. <laughs> wait, they had drugs? <laughs> no, behave. <laughs> Megan and Chelsea always have drugs. <laughs> right. You gotta come I'll be over sometime. later. <laughs> we'll just we'll just snort a bunch of perks. Just yes. have a great old time. I can't, I can't do perks. Oh, that's right. You have that Vivitrol. Is that what it's called? Yeah. 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 Amanda, you missed it. We were talking about we were, we were comparing girlfriends here, and Casey was. Uh, how are we comparing girlfriends? I don't have one. K Casey was was uh, explaining how he was always an ass man, but now he uh, now now he's become a boob man. I'm like, well, no, I'm not lucky. really a boob I have man. Boobs and ass. Not really a boob man. I still like butts. There's nothing butts. He likes big butts, and yeah, you cannot lie. Exactly. Well, your other brothers can't. 
<laughs> Jay, don't try to be black ever again. <laughs> I didn't try to be black. I'm not as cool. <laughs> See, this uh, is why I give you the give you the uh, soundboard now. I have nothing yeah, else to do. I would, I'm I would, giving up. The I wouldn't say I'm a boob man. I just I I appreciate him more because Megan's got big titties, so I like just like knocking them around. Like every once in a while, I'll just fucking slap them. <laughs> the best part, like, oh, y'all yeah. listen to me. I, I've been clean your room. <laughs> I've been I've been known to slap a tit now and again. I love slapping titties. I don't know why. It's the funnest thing. <laughs> it's a little bit funner than asses because when you smack asses, they jiggle and you know blop around a little bit like an old yellow commercial. But when you slap a titty, man, that shit's like those fucking boxing things like it's awesome i love it <laughs> uh you know what i like to do I, I like to grab a hold of them pull towards well, you wait what this is a parachute the fuck string? Is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, you grab a hold and you just yank them towards you jesus Christ. what the fuck it's, it sounds like you're at the movie theater and you're pulling the armchairs now <laughs> yeah, the, just fucking armrest <laughs> Yeah, you know, you can grab them around the neck or whatever and pull them towards you, but, you know. Fucking Jay's over here making titties. scarves out of titties. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yank on them motherfuckers. Yeah. Uh, actually, I did have another story, actually, that I wanted to talk about. Why do you about. have a lock on your phone? Because. I am I do, too. I'm just wondering. <laughs> because of drug addicts like you. <laughs> what do you mean you have a lock on your phone? Why are you asking me, then? <laughs> People are nosy. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Mine's a fingerprint, though. It's fucking watch. Yeah, mine, too. Boom. In oh. fact, the only reason I have the uh, lock on mine at all is for the fingerprints easier than fucking swiping right. and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason. Um, I, I wanted to cover this because I think this is just fucking stupid and ridiculous. You know the new movie, uh, Peter Rabbit? Yeah. That came out. Well, people are boycotting it. Why? My kids, my my grand, my mother, stepmother, one of them. I don't fucking know. It's my, my kids brothers. to go see the shit. Yeah. So they're they're boycotting it. Because there's a scene where the owner is allergic to blackberries, okay? This, this is just insane. This is where I just... I, if I was president, I would press all the buttons and not think twice about it. <laughs> are you listening, FBI? Uh, people are boycotting the new Peter Rabbit movie because the animated talking bunnies make fun of blackberry allergies. <laughs> really? Sky what? News. I've never heard of them. I don't know who the fuck they are. Sky but... News. is uh, Sky is a British channel. No. Oh. Calls the boycott Peter Rabbit film amid food allergy bullying claims. So they just made up a new word. It's called allergy bullying. <laughs> so uh, the main character in it that's trying to Weird. get rid of the rabbits is allergic to, allergic to blueberries. They're throwing blueberries at him, and he's getting an allergic reaction to it, and they're making fun of him for it. So they're calling it uh, allergy bullying. <laughs> really yes. the fuck is wrong with this fucking country? <laughs> I know, dude. You, you know what's God. funny about allergies to me? What? Like... You can shatter a person's leg, right? You can just completely shatter their leg bones, and that human being will recover. Maybe. But they eat that peanut, you're dead. Done. <laughs> I Done. I just, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it because they're saying um, they shouldn't do this because it will give kids a bad attitude for food allergies. Like, what the fuck does that I already have world? a bad attitude yeah. for allergies. Yeah, I've, I've cooked my whole fucking life and someone's like, this person's allergic to everything. I it's got like, bullied in high school and I turned out fine. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Did you, Greg? <laughs> but, I mean, like, th my one kid has has a, somebody with a peanut allergy in their class. Now, like, I can't send her shit like fucking peanut butter crackers and shit for a snack at school because some little kid will be too stupid to not eat other people's food apparently yeah it's like she's seven she's not two i know it's just and so is he and and people wonder why like people are worried about this country like if we ever get invaded we're fucked dude <laughs> like this one person was saying about how she was on a plane and these full-grown men are so weak and small they can't even put their lift up their uh luggage to put in the airplane and she was like we're fucking screwed we are <laughs> and it's just like and the people talking about it, they're like um uh what's to say here folks He's allergic to blackberries, and the movie seemingly mocked this issue that plagued millions upon dozens of children around the millions world. Millions upon dozens. <laughs> like, <laughs> who fucking wrote this? Mike Tyson? <laughs> like, I just, I don't fucking get it. And that's why I said, dude, just give me the button. I want to press it, because I'm sick of this shit, dude. No one, no one can have fun anymore. Well like, well, like I said, the human body is so strange. We, we're resilient enough to recover from a shattered, like, pelvis or a broken leg or something like that. We can mend shattered bones. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you fucking need a peanut, you're done. Yeah. Like, I, what the I, hell? I had, I had a friend who died from, uh, he, 
he was allergic to fish. He went to McDonald's and the cross contamination, like this real shit. He yeah, died. yeah, yeah. Cr- cr- Who, cross is this contamination someone I know? sucks. Probably. That really? really? All right, you'll have to tell me yeah, that after the show. Like, tell me after the show. Uh, well, yeah, I just do a lot of drugs with him. Yeah. Well, I mean, Greg and I know a lot of the same people, too. That doesn't surprise me. Actually, while we were talking about it, I mentioned it earlier. Everyone say happy birthday to Chelsea in the chat. Happy birthday, Chelsea. It's tomorrow, but we don't do the show tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Happy Hallmark holiday. (laughs) The fuck is what? (laughs) Happy Hallmark holiday. Valentine's Day. I fucking hate Valentine's Day. It's tomorrow. What? Oh, no, it's Wednesday. Wait, yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Why, do you have someone to get someone? Uh, who is she? Greg? <laughs> my, my wife says my hair looks funny. How so? It always looks funny. What I are just you talking well, about? Yeah, I, I mean, just think you look funny in general. Right? <laughs> Shut up, you fucking vampire with receding hair. <laughs> hey, man. I'm on a lot of meds. I've been getting a lot of sleep look lately. At, I mean, look, look at the fucking... Look at the fucking screen. You're so white, you almost blend in with the table. Actually, if you look at it, Greg's whiter than I am. That's because I'm bald. <laughs> exactly. Uh, he, uh, hey, man, don't. He also works third shift. Right. Like, you I le- sleep you, all day. I have the insomnia. House. Like, a real, like, medical condition insomnia. So go the fuck outside, then. <laughs> Why? What's outside? It Vitamin D. I play a lot of video games, and when I go outside, the graphics are horrible. They are, right? <laughs> I, I don't like them. Megan's got a point. She says the day after Valentine's Day is the best because all the candy's half off. Oh, man. I love those little candy hearts. They taste like but you know what? I don't know why I love no, them. They're oh, disgusting. I love them. But you know what? If you buy the uh, buy the candy hearts uh, on the day that you're supposed to buy them, then you can get the panties half off. <laughs> what? That's time for the rim shot, Greg. What? <laughs> no. No. It was a joke to get your wife horny. <laughs> it's not funny! Actually, she, I, she's drinking. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. All I have to do is go home. Knowing you're lucky. If you're lucky enough, she'll be passed out on the kitchen floor already. <laughs> trying to make it to bed. She has half her clothes taken off. You're like, <laughs> already half the work's done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going in dry. Yeah, uh, Chelsea's birthday's on Valentine's Day, so she sort of hates it because she's like, everyone feels special on Valentine's Day. But, oh, um, cry me a river. I, I feel like that about birthdays. Like, people are like... <laughs> People are like, why don't you like your birthday? I'm like, what's so special about birthdays? I'm like, everyone has one. Why am I so special? Everybody has God, a birthday. You sound like, uh, sound like Leonard's mother on the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> I'm serious. Everyone has a birthday. You why? never had a fucking birthday party because, you know, why celebrate something that, well, quote, unquote, why celebrate my achievement on your, for you? Well, exactly. Like, here's the thing. I didn't achieve nothing on my birthday. You know, you know who achieved something? My fucking mother for pushing a human being out of her pussy. <laughs> that's, that's who should really get the presents because she had to shit me out. And not only does she have to shit me out, the world has to deal with me now for some fucking And we reason. subject them every week to us. <laughs> Chelsea says, go fuck yourself, Jay. Uh, I tried once. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, her birthday's on Valentine's Day, so her and uh, Megan are having some drinks right now because they can't celebrate tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. I was supposed to go and hang out with them tonight right after the show, but my truck broke. Yeah, what happened with that? Oh, uh, the fuel pump. Oh, that's a bad one. Yeah, I texted my mother today. I'm... Um, because she's banging the guy that's fixing my car. <laughs> and uh, he said it's the fuel, fuel pump. So that's coming in tomorrow. And then uh, always breaks in threes. I don't know what the third thing that broke yet, but then my heater broke. I use a coal stove, and then my coal stove broke. So I'm waiting on the third thing. That How broke. does a coal stove break? There's a fan. Yeah, but you just light it. Uh, no, no it's not thing. as simple as, like, my wood stove. His actually yeah, has, like, mechanical see, shit. Yeah, you should see my coal stove. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, <laughs> slow down, Amanda. Don't be fucking completely destroyed by the time I get home. Jesus Christ. I'm on shot number four and drinking by myself. Oh, this. You're not drinking by yourself. You're drinking in a group. You're just, that group is virtual. We'll come pick you up, Casey. No, you guys are drinking. So? <laughs> not everyone goes balls to the walls like you do, Greg. I'm trying to teach. See, Megan's sort of like a dog. I got to train her to be responsible. <laughs> I'm just joking. I Megan. don't know what I'm Amanda's just... trying to say here. So that's all right. I'm kind of with you, you sexy son of a botched. A botched. <laughs> a botched abortion? Botched what am I? A comment. I think she meant biatch. Biatch. Biatches. Yeah. Why haven't you botch? drank yet? It's we haven't dr- drunk. Drank yet. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Drink, drink, drink. You couldn't type either earlier today. You were like, God, I can't fucking type. Uh, she says, I have. We're sitting in Taco Bell drive through Do you guys try those uh, <laughs> Try those new new fry things that they have now? No, but no. what was like with the whole Illuminati fucking bullshit? <laughs> like, what? Did you see the commercials for it? No. They had like the, this Illuminati bullshit going on. Like it was a huge secret. And the Illuminati was keeping Taco Bell 
from um oh i saw those yeah. no they were talking about the, like the burger industry was trying it's not the illuminati yeah they mentioned the illuminati in the first the first commercial they released they were talking about the illuminati oh they i were didn't tied, catch it yeah they were tied with the burger places so taco bell didn't release their fries because the burger places would lose money <laughs> i'm like who fucking i was like what what bunch of dudes did you just throw in a room tell them to do a bunch of drugs to come up with that fucked up commercial I don't know. That's fucking weird. Fuck the fries. I guess Megan's tried them. They're not good? I guess, I'd imagine I they... not. I don't know. Fuck you, Casey. Suck your own dick. I will. I, I will. go for ducking tacos. <laughs> 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 fucking, she says. Okay. Jesus Christ. I think she meant fries. <laughs> I love Taco Bell, but boy, do I. Yeah, I don't want the stupid friends that go for the ducking tacos. Jesus Christ, Amanda. Boy, do I fucking shit after I eat Taco Bell, dude. Oh, my I've been God. shitting for like a week. I need some fucking like... Modium AD. I've had, a, I've had a horrible upset stomach today. I think it's my meds. Yep. I don't know what it is. Speaking of Modium AD, I wanted to talk about this last week, but I forgot because I'm an idiot and didn't write it down. Mm -hmm. But uh, now, apparently, people abuse... Oh, excuse me. What was that for? I don't know. People oh. abuse Modium AD, apparently, because yeah. it's a it's an opiate, I yes. guess. But it's an opiate that doesn't, like, no matter how many of them you take... It won't cross the blood-brain barrier. Yeah, it won't cross the blood-brain barrier, yep. so it doesn't get you high. <laughs> I know, but here's the thing. They are, they are finding ways that it's making you high now because I've read this. You what can also use it uh, if you're really fucking dope sick. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what they're... you have to take a lot of it. That's yeah. what they're saying is they well, use it use it for dope sickness. Well, what they're doing is is they're finding ways to do a lot of it in a really short amount of time. They're making smoothies out of it. Oh, my goodness. So they're taking boxes and boxes and boxes of this shit and making these smoothies, Jeez. slamming the smoothies, and it's getting them high as fuck. Yeah, my because... wife says, love you. I'm hoping she's talking to me. So, love you, too. <laughs> uh, Where's uh, the puke in my I don't fucking know. know. God forbid. <laughs> anyway, so oh, here uh, it is. Love. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway, uh, so so apparently now because people are not smart enough. Actually, I got two things to talk about on this whole thing because uh, people are taking these things and quote unquote abusing them. They want to put regulations on them so that you can only buy a three day supply at a time. Because who needs a three day supply? <laughs> no, here's my point. If you buy Imodium AD and you have it in your cabinet, mm -hmm. when you need Imodium AD is not the time to realize that you ran out. Exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, exactly. You know, I, I take it on uh, flights a lot because, like, uh, I don't know, like, just get stuck in line and stuff like that. When I have to poop, you know, I don't want to be running through a fucking plane line or something like that shitting all over everybody. So I usually take Imodium AD when I go flying, but, like, I've never, like, fucking made smoothies out of it or anything and drank the fuck out of it but actually since you brought that up that reminds me uh the whole tide pod thing that's going okay, on okay so you're breaking up the story all right that's the other one i wanted to talk about go ahead um this just shows how out of touch politicians are with people and they have no clue what's going on they think they do but they really don't like this this sort of reminds me of when the guy stood up and held an assault rifle up and called it an AR-15, said the AR stood for assault rifle. Like, What does it stand for? Armalite. This guy's name. Okay. Uh, Apparently we're having audio issues, by the way. Sorry, Jay's guys. already turned down, so I don't know what the fuck No, it's because we were all yelling and you guys were making fun of me for saying I love my wife. God oh. forbid. <laughs> So, um, anyway, so these yeah. politicians get up and they start talking about tie pods and shit. And they're like, they look like candy. Yeah, we, New York State. This yeah. is a, this is only New York State. No, I've heard it. Couple, the rest no, of the I've, fucking I've world. I've heard it come with a couple of different states. A lot of states are doing it. It's just New York State got the big yeah. They want they want reason. to make them look less candy like. Um, here's the thing: people aren't eating them because they think they're fucking candy. You retards. They're eating them because they're for, dumb. Because they're dumb. That's the whole joke. Is they're getting on the internet doing a Tide Pod challenge. You fucking imbeciles. And I just, I saw that and I'm like, this yeah. is why people want to burn this fucking country down because these politicians don't know what the fuck they're talking no, about. No, I kind of want to burn the country down because apparently our people are not smart enough to realize that laundry detergent is not something you put in your face. <laughs> just... So so I'm pretty sure the politicians aren't really the worst of it. Oh, they are. They it just That's what I'm saying. I think they're a we byproduct vote, of the fact. We vote for people that don't even know yeah, well, what's here's going the, on. <laughs> here's the thing. A lot of the people who are doing this whole Tide Pod challenge are old enough to vote. Just saying. I know, and that's what I'm saying. You got these fucking retards eating Tide Pods for attention, and the politicians don't even know why they're eating them. 
they look like candy. It's like, no, <laughs> that's not why they're eating them. I just, I thought that was hilarious. I was like, oh, of oh. course, of course, we have we have a little bit of uh, uh, firsthand knowledge of people who put things in their body that shouldn't be there. Yeah. God created the cocoa plant. <laughs> Fuck you guys. How many, God created the how, cocoa plant, but he didn't create cocaine how or crack. How many times did, God, did you have to tell yourself that to what you were doing was okay? Never. <laughs> I just really like cocaine. You're like, oh, man, God created this stuff. It must be okay. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I can't do it anymore, Greg. It's too much, man. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah, well, he was injecting coke into his veins. That's that's what gets me. Who yeah. the fuck does that? I, I don't me. know. I, I used to drop acid in my eyes. Shit burns. What? <laughs> oh, does. yeah. This one time, my friends put acid in my popcorn, and I'm, they're, like, laughing at me. I'm like, well, it's going to be a long night. Just dropped it in my eyes. Oh, man. That I st- Guys. Stood. Seriously. <laughs> yes. I'll be Megan says later. we can get you some cocaine. Dude, he, do you want him to go back to prison? <laughs> I told you they're fucking pushers, dude. God. And the funny thing is, is Megan's the calm one. Chelsea's the real. I know she's pusher. nuts. She's the real, like you know, if if you were like having a bad time with heroin, she'd be sprinkling on your Cheerios. Jesus Christ! I don't want a man to hang around <laughs> with you Excellent. people anymore. You people are bad influences. <laughs> they are. Free drugs are the best drugs. Oh, I love drugs, <laughs> especially the ones that make all my invisible friends go away. <laughs> Am I joking? You'll never know. <laughs> no. Um, I did have one thing. Chell got me fucked. No, I'm the one who got you fucked, but it was after she got you drunk. <laughs> uh, I did have one last thing to cover, though. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's last name. Uh, Rodrigo Durte? Durte. Yeah, Durte. Yeah, the, 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 the guy who advocates murdering drug dealers and shit, yeah. Uh, he, uh, he, he's a Philippines president, right, or something like that? Yeah, yeah, he's the... He's the, uh, yeah, I think he's president. I don't know. Yeah, he's, well, there's, I guess they're having problems over there. There's like a rebel group or something like that going on. So uh, he's getting pissed off because it's starting to like bother him. So he put out a bulletin and um, he said, tell the soldiers there's a new order coming out from the mayor. We won't kill you. We will just shoot you in your vagina. <laughs> that guy is what? just nuts. Because I guess a lot of these rebels are women. And he says, if there is no vagina, they will be useless. And he's not he's not wrong about that. <laughs> that, that. Let's be honest, it's the only thing on a woman that's good. <laughs> yeah, that that dude um got famous I think uh, I think it was last year because he advocates the murdering of drug users and dealers without any kind of a trial. Oh, so really? so you know, kinda not the best way to approach that sort of situation. Because Greg would have gotten a cap up in his ass. Yeah. Um, I've heard a lot of bad things about the Philippines. I actually used to play with a uh, guy from WoW from the Philippines. No. Yeah, I know. I play WoW. That's so weird. Uh, he says it's so fucked up, hospitals down there. What they do is is when you go in, they diagnose you. And once they diagnose you, they send you to the area where you need treatment. Like, say you need an MRI. You go to the area where there's the MRI machine, and there's a guy sitting there with a cash register. You have to pay them right there or you die. <laughs> yeah, they, they kill you if you don't pay? Yeah, you just die. Or they just like, let they, you die. They shoot you. No, they just, they're just like, sorry, you don't have the money. Go away. That's the way hospitals work in the Philippines. And I'm just like, fucking Christ, man. <laughs> Glad we live here. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to go there. <laughs> but <coughs> Hello, Russell Timms. Russell Tr- Timms joined. No, thank you. Thank you, Russell Timms. What's up? Uh, yeah, but uh, one thing I didn't ask him, though, and I was meaning to ask him is, I wonder if that's true for uh, foreigners, too. Like, say, if I was in America and I caught some something from, you know, a little boy hooker uh, and I was going to die. You know, do they treat foreigners like that too, or is it just the Philippines? Oh yeah, God, God knows they treat us that way. They wouldn't give a fuck about us anyway. Yeah, they're like, you white devil, <laughs> you white devil, you kill all the Indians <laughs> and all the buffalo. I'm pretty sure they don't give a rat's ass about buffalo. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just whatever. Jesus Christ! <laughs> all right, hang on. It's that time for time for shameless, uh, shameless uh, promotion. Get better at this. You did it on time last week. You're only seven minutes off this time. Well, it's because you wouldn't shut up, so there's that. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> me. All right, so, uh, all right, so we got to pay some bills here, so bear with us for a moment, but, uh, you know, if you're online, you need protection, and the best way to get that protection with is, is with a VPN, which is a virtual private network. What you need for that is private internet access. They do not have... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm reading this shit in the comments. 
They do not keep logs. They will not report what you are doing online. If you don't want your ISP to know what the fuck you are doing, the best thing that you can do is sign up for private internet access. And the best way to do that, if you want to help out us three morons, is to go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn. Again, that's ohonet.pw slash ohovpn. That is a nice little link that explains all the benefits, explains the price, and they'll cut us back a couple of dollars. Also, uh, if you want to show some support for the show, we do have a store. It's on OpenlyHostileOpinions.com. And uh, check it out. We got T-shirts. We got all sorts of things. We, we love you a long time. I might even send Greg to come give you kisses. Uh, that reminds me. So my cousin does a podcast. Okay. Um, I will find out more about it, and I'll start promoting it on our Twitter and stuff like that because he does a lot of cool, interesting stuff about uh, – just nerdy stuff like Star Trek or new albums coming out. Like they just talked about uh, how Metallica albums have progressed over to the years and stuff like that, Let, sound wise and everything. Let's just have them on the show for for. Uh, we were actually talking about that. Yeah, um, let's do let's do that. I mean, uh, once we started up with uh, X Split instead of using uh, OBS, which we currently use, mm-hmm. uh, we shouldn't have any trouble with Skype. So yeah, I was I was gonna have them on the show. They're they're both my cousins. It's called Shrek Talk. So, uh, of course it is. Yeah, it's funny. My my somebody once told them. Yeah, <laughs> my family uh, is very German. Our maiden names is Schreckengast. <laughs> hey, your family killed some Jews. Jesus Christ. Uh, actually, I, I yeah, I, I actually have a story after this. Um, so yeah, it's called Shrek Talk. Uh, I'm gonna start advertising uh, some stuff about them. Check them out if you like that kind of shit. But uh, he was just asking, do we have beanies? Uh, what? I b- I believe we do. Beanies. Why? He wants a beanie. <laughs> um, you know what, though? I think we oh. might have d- discontinued the one variety of beanie, so I okay. have to look into that, but I think we do have beanies. We definitely have, I looked, I couldn't we have baseball find caps. Any. Yeah, I looked. I couldn't find any beanies. Uh, he said it because at the end of our tra- uh, uh, trailer here, when we're done streaming, there's a picture of a beanie. <laughs> yeah, we, we do have them, I'm pretty sure, but i got to make sure that they're not they're not discontinued yeah one style that i was using did, got discontinued and i think i changed it over but i got a double check oh, okay yeah so uh like i said they're called shrek talk i wanted to give them a little shout out they like i said they do some really cool stuff they do a lot of music a lot of movies uh stuff like that and it's really really cool and i was talking to them so they're them. organized and prepared and everything we're not yeah exactly okay uh <laughs> and it's funny too because we were talking about like equipment and stuff and what we use uh jake he is the one host he they are currently using a bo- uh, board from 1995. <laughs> That's and, an old fucking board. Yeah, and it works great, I guess. Probably uh, better than ours. ours yeah, cheap. probably. Uh, but Greg's going to – we have a digital one Greg's going to hook up uh, here in a little bit. Well, you got to start using a DAW, which is going to be What different. the fuck is that? What? Digital audio workstation. What the fuck is that? Basically, what? <laughs> right, right now. Tell me about this. Right now, we record with a soft. We record the podcast part of the software called Audacity. For those of you who know, uh, a DAW is like that, only much more advanced. Sounds like something you say when you get hit in the head. <laughs> DAW, Digital Audio Workstation. Basically, it's a virtual mixer board. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's oh. like. Like everybody who does professional recording and shit, they use things like Reaper and things like that. That's Reaper. that's a really popular that one. Sounds Reaper, awesome. Reaper's cheap. That's why a lot of people use it. That sounds like a name of a guy that like sneaks into women's houses and fucks them in the ass so hard they like die. That from would it. be Reaper. <laughs> it's called the Reaper. <laughs> um, yeah, the Reaper Reaper. I was talking to my uh, uncle. Like I said, uh, I have a story about my family. Uh, he found out the whole reason why our family came over to America. He was hunting over in Germany. And he went onto this lord's land hunting a boar and killed a boar on his land. Well, the king, you know, kidnapped him and was like, hey, man, don't kill boars on my land. And he's like, I'm sorry. So instead of becoming Robin Hood, he just runs. <laughs> yeah. So you could have had Robin Hood. Yeah, exactly. That's what that's what I was thinking. It's sort of like a Robin Hood story. So he, he's like, okay, okay. You're Except all... for without the, you know, without the charity and more of the running like a scared little bitch. Yeah. And little John yeah. wasn't there and it was just a mess. Uh, so he went home and he was like, okay, okay. So he started hunting again, and he went on his land again, killed another boar. King was like, all right, you don't gone fucked up, and, you know, sent people after him to kill him. So he came to America, and that's how my family got started. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, <laughs> yeah. So instead of the Robin Hood story, you have ran like a scared, scared little girl. Well, you can't really fight a kingdom. <laughs> so Robin uh, Hood would beg to differ. Yeah, he had people on his side. This was one guy and his wife and a couple of kids, man. Jesus. What's he going <laughs> to rent people off of mercenary.com? Like, <laughs> <laughs> is that a real thing? I don't know. It probably is. Wouldn't surprise probably. me. Probably. I, I thought it was funny. Uh, our government used to hide that they use mercenaries. Now they're just like, yeah, we use mercenaries. <laughs> well, <laughs> whatever. Everybody knows. It's I know, but like it's, it's just funny. We used to. I remember we used to be like, yeah, we don't torture people. We don't waterboard people. Oh yeah, we do. We have special rooms for them. <laughs> like, whatever. Then, then you got Start Trump televising it. Yeah. Then you got Trump. Now I was like, you know what? We should bring torture back. <laughs> I know. Jesus Christ. That's why. Like, I'll never. We should. I'll never forget when you know in this country wiretapping. You know the whole Nixon thing like that. And then there was uh, Snowden came out and was like, the NSA spying on you. So Obama comes out and is like, yeah, we're spying on you, but we have to. And I'm just like, so we just admit it now? And people are like, that's fine. We don't care. Because <laughs> I've got there, nothing to hide. Because there was rabbits throwing blackberries at people. VPN. <laughs> and that is just enough. VPN. Get one. I'm not even trying to sell shit. I'm just saying I recommend you use one. And that's why. <laughs> Good God, man. I like when you run the soundboard. You're you're all on What's top. What's this of it. one? Hit it. Those motherfuckers. Oh, it's not from. Did you ever see that movie? No. European Probably. Diglo, European Gigolo. No. Oh man, it's a great movie. You yeah, gotta watch yeah. it. He's not. in a. They're in Europe, and he's in a chicken and waffles house. And he's like, gotta hand it to the Dutch for making chicken and waffles. And he's like, you know the Dutch created the slave trade, right? And he's like, those motherfuckers. That's a great movie. <laughs> and the guy that's talking about that, for some reason, eats food off of weird places like the whole time. I don't get it. He's in a hot tub and his tomato falls on a sandwich. He's like dipping it in the water. And it's fucking weird. <laughs> it's so chicken, weird. chicken and waffles is pretty bad. I know. Though. It's fucking amazing. I don't even like chicken that much. Really? I yeah. love chicken. I know. You, you eat a fuckload of chicken. I do. You know what it is? Yeah, when I, when I was young, chicken was cheap, mm -hmm. so we constantly ate chicken. Yeah, and now I, it's same with pork. Pork mm -hmm. was super cheap too, so now as an adult, I could go without either eating either of those things ever again and be fine. Yeah, I remember I was just at some restaurant and it was like thirty five fucking bucks for a double rib pork, and I'm like, who would Ooh. pay that much money for pork? Like pork's cheap. Like I go to the store. Not anymore. Yeah. Well, it's still a little cheap. It's still cheaper than, like, beef, yeah. but it's still not cheap. Yeah, like, I go to the store, I get, like, five pork chops, all right, for, like, five bucks, and I just soak them in Italian dressing overnight, and they're delicious. And it's like, they, they shouldn't be 30 fucking dollars. Ugh, it's weird. Whatever. But then, I don't know, maybe we won't even have pork because of Muslims, I don't know. <laughs> they hate pork for some reason. Why Why is it? Do you guys know why they hate pork? It, uh, the Bible. Or... Quran or whatever. <laughs> Quran. Yeah. Well, but, some, but someone came up with a good point. They're like, so Muslims hate pork. I'm probably going to get banned for this. <laughs> for hate of course speech. we are. No, it says in the Bible you're not supposed to eat it. So. Well, it not says right. in the Bible we're not supposed to eat oysters and shellfish yeah, and shit. Supposed to people wear do. polyester. Well, according to old law. Yeah, exactly. Which uh, has been done away with in yeah, the exactly. New Testament. Um, so someone came up with a point. They're like, so all these Muslims hate pork. But they use pig feces to blow themselves up. So they're having pig go all throughout them while they're killing themselves. So I don't think they're getting into the 72 virgin area. I was like, the, the fuck are you on about? I was like, I was like, who has time to think of that shit? Like, what do you mean they use pig feces? What the fuck are you talking they about? They use fertilizer and stuff to help the bombs. Isn't, isn't most fertilizer like fucking goat and cow and shit? Yeah, and pig. They use all sorts of shit. Literally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's not pure, that's why. Uh, well, yeah, they consider them to be impure animals. Well, Megan, I'm going to be Muslim, so uh, we got to stop talking. You're not pure. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, it's it's like Hindus. They they believe cows are sacred. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> For some fucking reason. See, uh, that's the thing. Like, why? Is that written in some kind of law? Like, if I walked up to a know. cow, I wouldn't. the first thing I wouldn't be like, you know what? That guy from in the sky sent me that. <laughs> like, well, I'm like, get you know this what, fucking though? ugly piece of shit out of here. I mean, we're not. We're not. Funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and what's that thing that looks like fucking weird titties underneath it? Like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, who is the first person? I go, you know, what? I'm going to suck on that and see what I get <laughs> I out. Know. That's why I thought about, like, the woman that gave the first blowjob, God bless her soul, uh, was like, yeah. you know what? Um, I'm on my period i'm bleeding all over the place it looks like you know italian spaghetti night in here oh. uh i'm gonna put my mouth on his penis <laughs> like i think that's amazing 
And then, you know, you go from steps there where your girl's, you know, jerking that, you know, then she's sucking the balls. And the next thing you know, she has her tongue in your asshole. <laughs> like, I think it was the French. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that brings a whole new meaning to the words Frenching. Yeah. The French are freaks, man. They they do all sorts uh, of those, things. Those frogs like to get freaky in the sheets. Yeah, I know. Uh, and those Germans, they're, they're, they're the ones that do all the shizering and shitting all over the place. They run out big warehouses, lay tarps all down, just invite a bunch of people, and they just shit all over each other. <laughs> Considering all three of us have German heritage. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. um, <laughs> oh, you're German too? Maybe. Pretty much everybody around here yeah, has last some name's sort of German. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, we, thought, I, I didn't know you were, Jay. I thought you were like British or Oh, something. I'm German as fuck. Oh, really? I'm it's almost... African. I'm almost completely <laughs> German. Yeah, Jay's Jay's half African. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm almost completely German. Um, my name, my last name, which I cannot say on the show because we don't do that, is uh, it's kind of like a game that you yeah. play. <laughs> it, it's actually a bastardization of an English name, but the rest of my my line is is German. Huh. The so. rest of, rest of Greg's line is usually Coke. Well, we live in Pen- <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> well, you see, here's the thing: we live in Pennsylvania, and. Uh, Pennsylvania was settled by the Quakers and the Amish, and they're of German descent. Yes. So a lot of us are of German descent. Yes. It's There's just, a lot of Germans here. You know, and it's like you go to, like, New York and New Jersey, and a lot of Italian people settled there. Yeah. What, what the fuck is that? <laughs> we were just talking about shit. We were just talking about shit. He's talking about like, shit like five minutes talking. ago. I'm Polish and Irish. Yeah. Which which means she's a drinking problem waiting to happen. <laughs> She also has she also has Native American in her too, which means she likes to drink and can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty funny. When I was out in New Mexico, um, one of my cousin's wives was a nurse, and she says that's a lot what they have to deal with out there is Native Americans with really bad alcoholic problems. Yeah, they, they can't can, handle they it. They can't process alcohol like white people can. <laughs> no, they can't. Uh-uh. I mean, w- when we came here, we just fucked their whole life up. Oh, yeah. We, we did, were... like, fucking smallpox blankets and shit. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, someone got mad at me the other day because I said, you know, the Indians were doing what we were doing to them, just not as bad. Like, when we got here, they were they were killing themselves. Each, yeah, you know, actually, and... I, you know, I, I read an interesting little fact speaking of that. Uh, we would have not had a fucking chance but the Indians had a massive die-off right before. Oh yeah, they were we, killing each other. Like well, no, crazy. it's not that. There was a massive disease that mm. swept through. Yeah, and and that's the thing. Yeah. Like there was also they were a lot of them were at war. Like well, yeah, they were constantly at war. It's yeah, not like they were oh, one big group of people yeah. that got What's along. It? it was really long. <laughs> that's what it I'm does, saying. Like that one is long. You know, you have all these people who are like, oh, we fucking killed. Them. They were killing themselves off before we got here. Like, just... well, we we wouldn't have had a ghost of a chance, but they had that massive die off from yeah. disease and shit. Oh yeah, Indians were crazy, man. They that's, that was their land, and they thought it was spiritual and shit. You can't fuck with that stuff. Well, we they were didn't just like trains and buffalo. They didn't own the con. <laughs> They didn't understand the concept of ownership of land, exactly, so we just yeah. straight up screwed them. Exactly. Like, the Indians were more like, oh, you know, the, the nature has given this stuff to us. We were like, this is ours. We worked for it. And that's just, I think that's why there's such a bad rap for white people, because way back in the day, we saw something, we just took it. <laughs> we're like, yeah. sorry, but we're going to kill your whole family, anything that's connected to you, and that's ours. But if I do it now, I go to jail. <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> when you do it, it's called theft. Yeah. That's the same fucking thing. <laughs> They had money. I didn't. I took it. Yeah, exactly. It, that's the, and that's the way you didn't buy drugs. That's the way right. it should be. Which I put in my veins. Like that's yeah. Enough. It doesn't matter what I did with it. It's just <laughs> the same concept, right? I agree, Greg. I agree. I, comp- I I think it should be like the olden days. That's right. why I want like a nuclear holocaust. I want your money. I'm taking yeah. it. I just I What's want you? it to be back like you know. So back. communism then, pretty much. No, I want I want it in like all balls of all like Book of Eli type shit. Like where I'm a mercenary, I just kill people and sell stuff like junk and shit. <laughs> hep, hep C. What does Hep C have to do with anything? <laughs> I think he's saying Megan has Hep C. I could be wrong. Though. Oh, you do. That's right. We forgot. Right. <laughs> well, he's getting treated. Oh, are you? Is that curable? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know if it I was. I think it is now. No. Oh. How many different heps are there? A, B, and C? No. Oh. No. Oh. Huh. trying to think. No. I, Who I cares? Right. I, 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 okay, fine. Fuck you. I thought I'd make a <laughs> <some> conversation. <laughs> I guess the fuck Shut that the fuck down. <laughs> I guess the fuck. There's Chelsea. What's up, Chelsea? Happy birthday. Yay. Uh, <laughs> uh, here it is. Yeah, there we go. 
I wrote it in chat. Casey, you dumbass. Like he says. <laughs> Happy birthday to Chelsea. She is uh, 14 years old. Um, mentally. Yes, mentally. Uh, so did you get we. it from using dirty needles? Did I you? did. Yes, he did. I didn't even know he had it. So like, what, what and you know what's really it. fucked up, too? I was sharing needles with a person that I knew had it. I just didn't give a fuck. Holy fuck, I'm serious. Man. And this was before I knew that. Don't do terrible. drugs, kids. <laughs> yeah, when you only got one needle in the car and like 12 people, you're fucking using it. Oh, That's yeah. That's how definitely. it works. Yeah, like, definitely. Uh, you they, got, if there's drugs in there and I can't put it in my arm. That's a bad thing. See, the funny part is you guys knew that that person had hep C. You could have yeah. just made him go last. <laughs> well, no, I mean, the he's needle was old. Using, yeah, already, he's like, already using it. Yeah. Um, so the thing is, is since I don't were, have any pants on. <laughs> since you were injecting it, snorting it just didn't do it for you anymore. You just wanted always to inject it, right? Right. Okay. Like I was telling you earlier, I always chase the rush. Mm-hmm. I didn't really care about the high after. Like, If you snort something, you're not getting a rush from it. Oh, yeah. It's, Especially it's injecting not the same. It. It's, it's not, not the same. same. Yeah. Okay. Everyone take your pants off. God, your wife's wasted. <laughs> I am girl. What is she? Why is she say that like I a caveman? Girl. I am girl. <laughs> I am girl. You take pants off. Um, that, that actually reminds me. Did you guys ever see the Netflix show Big Mouth? No. It is fucking hilarious. It's a cartoon. And what, what it's about is this kid going through puberty. And he has a hormone monster that follows him around. And it's fucking hilarious. Like, his hormone monster just, like, tries to make the worst. Out. Like, he hugs this girl and he's just, like, screaming at him. Jizz in your pants. Jizz in your pants. It's fucking <laughs> hilarious. Is this something they show in health class? Where, you know, when they break the boys and no, the girls this in the is, separate No, groups? this is pure comedy. And it's hilarious. And then this one girl gets her period. And then they show her menstrual... Uh, monster hormone monster and it's funny because her hormone monster is just all about pissing her mom off like her hormone monster comes in she's like put your hair down never call her mother again call her sharon and i'm like that is (laughs) so (laughs) true like if you want to piss a mother off just start calling her by her normal name it will drive her nuts and i'm like this show is hilarious so it's on netflix and it's called big mouth it's the most disgusting shit i've ever seen i love it (laughs) the hormone fairy yeah it's sort of like that it's just, it's great. It's amazing. Check it out. It's not for kids, though. <laughs> I thought the hormone fairy was what made my pants tighter at stop signs when I was younger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Didn't they? Women are just emotional. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys are fucking nuts. I think this is why they didn't let you out of the house back in the day. <laughs> they were like, these bitches. Uh, she's all about being a bitch. Yeah, uh, the hormone monster for the female is all about being a cunt and stuff like that. The other one just wants the guy to jizz in his pants every five seconds. Yeah, we straight up do when we're, li- we're when we're like teenagers and shit. You know, a good stiff breeze will give us a woody. <laughs> yeah, see, I I was never like that. Like how they're always like boys will get boners for no reason. Fuck that. I need no, to it's like oh. bend it over in front of me. And I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> no, it's always like oh, the bell's gonna ring in one minute. Let's go ahead and get a hard on right now. <laughs> See, that's why you had trapper keepers. You just yeah. come over it. <laughs> yep. Do you remember trapper? I wonder if they still sell those. They do. They do. My kids wanted one. I'm like, wow, shit's going full circle. Deliver drugs to me and I'll never leave the house. That's that Chelsea. would be awesome. <laughs> Drug delivery uh, service. Greg's in love. <laughs> be like, be like fucking. I always had to go like to the city and shit. Yeah. Yeah. So fucking annoying. It's like twenty minute drive. No, I want to get high now. What the I fuck? Get high you now. know what, man? It's my drugs, and I want it now. Instead of drugs, you should have gotten into pretzels. There's plenty <laughs> pretzels of pretzels are good too. I mean, no, there's a, there's a reason for that joke. He lived in like the pretzel capital of the fucking fucking state. Ma- Megan, your property already cheat on me, so it's okay. <laughs> Good lord. I'm so positive. I you're love it. Such as. You're, you're a man bitch. That's what, <laughs> what the fuck is a man bitch? I just recently found out I'm closer lesbian. I think she means closet. She, no, closet. Closet lesbian and she's mine and Casey's. All women are lesbians. It's just to what degree. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty funny though. Me and Megan and Chelsea, we always laugh and call it a thruple. <laughs> a what? Me and Megan aren't a couple since Chelsea is uh, around a lot. We call it a thruple. <laughs> that sounds like something you need ointment for. I know. It sounds like a dirty cappuccino. Like you got that from Shameless, didn't you? Oh, I never watched Shameless. Oh, okay. I've watched one episode of it. Is it from Shameless? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. that, they just they say that. Uh, oh, okay. Thruple. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've I've watched one episode of it and it's where that uh red haired girl raped that eighteen year old and then she yeah. slammed an orange juice afterwards and was like, I am a woman. <laughs> Oh right! I, I, you know I've never seen I, that show. It's pretty, it was pretty funny. Good. It was pretty funny. It's pretty good. This guy, it's just basically 
Uh, I've had an alcoholic tell me this actually before. He's watched it and it made him feel good about his life. So, uh, yeah, it's just about alcoholics. Um, and it's pretty good. I don't know. I'm catching up on American Housewife. I find that show humorous. What, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's it's the chick from. Um, you, <laughs> yeah, that's a good. Do one. you remember Mike and Molly? Yes. Do you remember the stoned stoned sister? Oh yeah, the pill addict. The pill yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's that same lady oh, who's okay. playing the main character. Oh, I might have to check that out. She's I liked really her. funny. Yeah, I liked her in Mike and Molly. I thought she was hilarious. I I, I thought she was absolutely hilarious too. And uh, there was an episode of My Name Is Earl that she was in, mm-hmm. and she played. Uh, uh, oh, what the hell's his name? I cannot think of it. But uh, this one dude, a uh, famous guy, was playing a daredevil, like uh, along the lines of like Super Dave or uh, mm-hmm. or uh, Jesus, Christ, Evil can Evil. Mm-hmm. And uh, Earl, in his bad days, kept trying to get him hurt so he can continue to sleep with his wife, oh, who nice. was played by her. Yeah. Uh, something Kinney, I think her name is. I have no. A- idea. Anyway, so he kept. Uh, Kept doing that. So as, you know, the, the entire premise of the My Name is Earl show, uh, he ke- goes around trying to make amends for all the bad shit he did. Well, he finds her, and she put on, like, a bunch of weight all in her ass. <laughs> yeah. That's like Twinkies. If you want Twinkies, they go straight to your thighs. What's it called again? American Housewife. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to check it out. That's pretty funny. I think that's what it's called. Let me let me make sure. You mm. you, you talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Try not to fall asleep. Try not to fall asleep. Do you so have to go tired. to work now? Yeah. Do you have to leave like right now? Well, I don't have to be there at ten thirty. Not oh, really. I'm gonna go home. I might as well rub just one get out a shot and then, uh, yeah. rub one out. Oh yeah. And go to work. You I can, don't. You could rub one out before work. Don't you get tired then? No. Every time I jerk off, I'm like so tired. Yeah, yeah that would put me to sleep. I think I get too into it though. Like I'm talking shit to mine. I'm like you little dirty. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I thought her name was that. It's Katie Mixon, and uh, her husband's pra- played by Diedrich Bader. No, oh, okay. Who's really fucking hilarious? Well, yeah, first, I have to go over to Megan's first to get drugs, and then I won't be tired anymore. <laughs> okay. No, fuck you, Chelsea. I got to play WoW tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the last boss. <laughs> that takes- there is no last boss. Yeah, there is. No, there is. Last isn't. of the expansion. Uh, yeah, for now, there's yeah. a last boss. That, that took the top guild 450 wipes to kill, so we're, we're, we're having a lot of fun. <laughs> I need to stop being alone around here. We're literally ending the show in a minute, Amanda. Relax. <laughs> I'll be home in like 10 at max. Fuck, I was going to say. Oh, yeah. The Since you both work at ShopVac, I might as well just get a job there. Is it well, full-time? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How much is it? An 11, hour? 11, 11, 11 <sighs> 05, something. Like. That starts shift, though. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's easy work. Like you, you probably could do it. Uh, you oh, yeah, absolutely could. could do it. If I, I mean, could, if I could bartend and wait tables, you could do anything. <laughs> oh, it's so easy. It's just it's repetitive. That's oh, the worst part that about shit. it. No, I could work for eleven dollars an hour. You know what? Honestly, you just, it, the best you, part you about probably make less now. Oh no, no, he doesn't. I can one one night uh, in tips. I even out to about fifty bucks an hour. What the. Fu- all right, I need a job. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm no, done. it's soul-sucking. You want to kill yourself. I don't give a fuck. Your life, but yeah, yeah, you can. Right, I don't well, think I'm allowed to work in a bar. Well, we got to go. Sure. <laughs> we got to go, apparently, because Megan wants to suck Casey's dick. Yeah. <laughs> My sure. wife's telling me she she needs some some some. She always wants. To and I gotta go deck. pick up some drugs like before most, work. Yeah, most women you gotta fight with. I'm just like, hey, sign my dad. She's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I love it. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for okay. everyone. Bye. Uh, remember, we're at eight o'clock now, starting the show. And right, that, that's more. yeah. We did that today, right? What? It's we started. I know, but I'm just saying it's gonna be from now on. I'm pretty sure they know. Right. We're good. Fuck you, Greg. <laughs> you piece of shit. God, I'm trying to say goodbye to everyone. <laughs> I don't have a car, so I don't get to see a lot of people. I want to talk to people. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, guys. See you later. Have a good one. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. (laughs) We are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. 